Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So, the other day on Facebook, I did a bow tutorial and I had someone ask that I do that on YouTube. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do today, except we're going to work with a few different ribbons. And I wanted to explain to you about the different types of wire that we use when tying ribbons and when working in the flower shop. So in the flower shop, there are two gauges of wire that I like to work with. I like 21 gauge, which is a, he a little bit of a heavier gauge. I'm gonna kind of hold them up against my hand. 21 gauge is this heavier gauge, and then 28 gauge is the lighter weight um, wire. Now, they work, um, they both are wire. They both will work for most of the same things. I like to use the 28 gauge when I'm working with flowers to wear and flowers to carry. It's a very lightweight. It works really easily with corsages and boutonnieres, and it also works with um, halos. When you're making a baby girl halo, I like to work with the 28 gauge. Now, I also like to tie the corsage bows with the 28 gauge. Now, the 21 gauge is my is our go-to wire. It's the wire that we use for all of the, um, when I wire any kind of flower itself, like a rose or a Gerber daisy, we use the 21 gauge wire. And when I tie off any of the bows, we use 21 gauge. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what wire is used for. So I thought we would start with our corsage um, bows. Our corsage ribbon is the most narrow ribbon that we carry and it is number three. It's a number three ribbon and it is um, it is made for corsages and just small tiny bows. So I'm going to start with number three. This is just a red. I was kind of going in valentine colors is the reason I chose red. When I make a corsage bow, I like to do a center loop. I'm gonna start by holding the tip of that ribbon. All right, so I am going to start by making a corsage bow. I'm taking the tip of that ribbon and just holding it between my two fingers. Um, I have the, t the pretty side of the ribbon is facing me, and then the back side of the ribbon is facing the camera. I'm going to roll it, and I just rolled it right there over my thumb. I'm gonna take that ribbon and I'm gonna make a twist and that twist is right up underneath my pointer finger. It's right there. I'm gonna make a loop. Catch it again. I'm gonna twist. I have that twist right there up underneath my pointer finger. A loop. Catch it. Twist. Loop. Twist. Loop. And it really depends on how large you want this bow. Um, as to how many loops you're going to add to the bow, okay? So the larger the bow, the more loops you add, the less, the smaller the bow, the less, okay? I'm gonna do three loops on each side. Okay, so there are, you can't see it very well, but there are three loops, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're going to make our tails for this bow. I'm gonna take this ribbon, I'm gonna just do a very large loop and place that right up underneath my pointer finger. I'm gonna take my scissors, cut it at an angle. So there's my tails here, one and two. I'm gonna take my 28 gauge wire. I usually cut this in half. Um, it comes in 18 inches in length. And so I usually just take it and cut it in half. I'm gonna bend that wire down and I have it between these two fingers. I'm gonna take my pointer finger, push that wire and turn it tightly. Now, there's my little squished bow. I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna hold that wire, and I'm gonna fluff those loops. What I mean by fluffing is I am just going to pull them out so it looks a little more like a bow, okay? So this is a bow that would go on a corsage. Now, this can be used on a wired and taped corsage, or it can be glued into the center of a glued corsage. Um, if I'm gonna glue it in the center, I'm gonna trim up some of these tails. And when we make corsages for um, 
for proms or dances, I we usually layer our ribbon and I'm gonna show you a layering technique, but we layer different colors just to make it fun and pretty. So there is a tiny corsage bow and this is made out of florist satin. We also have fancier ribbons um, for corsages and flowers to wear, but this gives you the basic how to make a tiny bow, okay? Next, I'm going to make a bow with that center loop out of florist satin. You will make the same bow out of wired ribbon depending on where you want this bow to go, okay? So when we use florist satin here in our flower shop, we use this ribbon for green plants um, to, for a gift. So say we're going to send a green plant to the funeral home. This is the type of ribbon we like to use for green plants. This is the type of ribbon we like to use for standing sprays, any kind of funeral work. We use this type of ribbon. I'm gonna do it exactly like I did the tiny bow. It's just going to be the next size up in ribbon. So this is what we call number nine. Number nine is about an inch and a half wide. I'm gonna take that ribbon and I'm holding it between my thumb and my pointer finger, okay? I'm gonna roll it to give me a center loop, just like that. You can see kind of through that little hole, okay? I'm gonna hold it. Now I am right-handed and I'm holding the ribbon with my left hand. I'm gonna take this ribbon, so this is the back side, this is the front side. On floral satin, the back side is a little matte and the front side is shiny. I'm gonna twist that ribbon. So therefore, there's the twist there. I hold it under my pointer finger. I'm gonna make a loop, catch that with that pointer. I'm gonna twist, holding that twist under that finger, make a loop, catch it with that pointer. So it's just a constant layering. Twist, loop, catch, twist, loop, catch. You try to make each loop roughly the same length. Twist, loop, catch, twist, loop, catch, twist, loop, catch. And so you're going to make it even on both sides. I'm going to do four loops on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to make our tails. I take that ribbon. I don't do a twist, another twist. I just take it and I catch it underneath that pointer finger. So this is what we call our tails. And I cut the piece that's attached to my roll. I cut it short. Okay, cut my tails. Now, when I tie this size bow, I like to use the 21 gauge wire. I like to use 21 gauge for most everything except flowers to wear and flowers to carry. I'm gonna take that 21 gauge, I cut it in half because 18 inches is too long. I'm gonna take that wire, run it right through that bow and hold it right up underneath my thumb. I'm going to bend that wire upward and I've got it between these two fingers. I'm gonna take this pointer finger, I'm gonna lay it up against those two fingers and I'm just going to twist. Okay, I'm gonna catch. I'm running my thumb back through that center hole, that center loop, and I'm gonna hold that wire and then I'm going to pull and fluff those loops. You want to hold on to that wire because then you're not going to pull your ribbon loops apart. Just in case you didn't get it too tight enough, if you hold that wire, you're gonna know you're not gonna pull your loops. There is our bow. Now I would probably add two more loops on each side to do for a green plant, for a six inch green plant. I like to use number nine, which is this size, about an inch and a half. Number nine ribbon we do on a six inch green plant or a small funeral basket, but we use number nine for that, okay? Traditional center loop bow. Next, I'm going to make a layered bow. Now, here at our shop, I prefer a layered bow over any bow. Now, their layered bows are used specifically for 
a fun arrangement. They're not used for, we do not use them here at our shop for funeral work. We don't use them. I mean, basically funeral work would be the main thing. They're normally for fun wreaths, um, layered bows are. They're normally for birthday arrangements. Now here at our shop, we don't put bows on everything. I allow, um, or I hope that my girls, they all make their own choice about how they want to make the arrangement. So if they want to add a bow, they add a bow. If they don't, it's not necessary. So here at our shop, we all have freedom to design and make things pretty. Um, and so um, it's really the designer's choice on whether they're going to put a bow on an arrangement or not. Now this is a fun arrangement that I would put on either a wreath or a fun birthday arrangement. This is called number 40. Um, number 40 is, I, I would say probably two and a half inches wide. Yep, about two and a half inches wide. And then a number nine ribbon is about one and a half inches wide. So you're gonna see, see the difference between the two widths. I like to layer both sizes. I like to layer lots of different patterns just because it's fun, okay? And this is a Valentine. I'm kind of going in Valentine colors. I like to start with my number, my number nine, I mean my number nine ribbon, yeah. And I am using wired ribbon. I'm gonna start with the stripes. Now, it's not gonna have a center loop. So I'm gonna take my tail, which is facing me. I'm gonna catch that ribbon and I'm gonna kind of crimp it. Just kind of gather it together up underneath my thumb. I'm gonna make a loop, catch it with that pointer finger, twist, a loop, catch it with that pointer finger and twist. That's all I'm gonna do for my red striped, red and white striped ribbon. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my second tail. So there are my first two loops of my bow. Okay, next I'm gonna take my pink ribbon. I'm gonna lay it, this is pink number nine wired ribbon. I'm gonna lay that ribbon right there on the back. And it's so, it's just like I'm steady using the same ribbon, but I'm just cutting it and using the next ribbon. I'm gonna make a loop, catch, twist, loop, catch, twist. Cut again. I have terrible scissors for this, but that's okay. Let's see if I have another pair of scissors. I'm, here's some. Maybe these work better. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with my hearts. So look how cute this heart ribbon is. Um, it has pink and red. And so I try to stay in the same color scheme. Now, if I'm doing it for a birthday bow, I'm gonna look at the arrangement. If the arrangement has royal blue delphinium, green bells of Ireland, and hot pink roses, I may use royal blue, green, and hot pink. If it has a touch of orange, throw a touch of orange into that bow. Um, so it's really, I mean, it's just your preference, whatever you think is pretty and fun. Um, so next, I'm gonna layer my number 40 hearts. I'm gonna take it and I just laid it right on the back of that, those two loops I've already made. I'm gonna make a loop, catch, twist, loop, catch, twist, and I'm gonna make one more loop because we're gonna make this bow a little bigger. Loop, catch, twist, okay? I'm gonna cut that tail. So see how I'm just layering those colors? Next, we're gonna come in with our polka dots. Red and white, fun polka dots. Catch that tail just like I did before. Layer it on that back. Loop, twist, loop, twist, loop, twist, and cut my tails. Now, when I make this bow, I'm probably going to make, I'm going to use this bow for a wreath. So, I'm gonna use a full length, number 21 wire. I'm gonna lay it right here under my thumb and I'm going to tie it off the same way I've done every other bow. I pull my wire up, I take my pointer finger and I make a good several twist. Okay, 
So there is my bow. Now we're gonna fluff it. So I'm gonna take each of those types of ribbon and I'm going to pull them and fluff them. Now, when I use wired ribbon, I like to take and do a little bit of a crimp in those tails. It's really all in your preference. You don't have to add that little crimp if you don't want to, but I like it better than it just being so straight. And there is our layered bow. Like I said, this bow will actually go on a wreath. Um, you can make these bows for wreaths, for birthday um, arrangements, for whatever. It's really all up to you. Um, I prefer to work with the wired ribbon because it's easier to work with. If you're learning to make a bow, get a very inexpensive roll of wired ribbon and tie, tie, tie. Practice makes perfect. Um, and the more you practice, the easier it'll get. And I promise if I can tie a bow, I promise you can tie a bow. Um, but there you go. There is our bow tutorial. If you have any questions or any comments on how we tie bows and different size bows, on what types of wire we use, like I said, the very narrow or the smallest wire we use is a 28 gauge. The one I use most often is a 21 gauge. Guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop those down below. Be sure to be on the lookout for our live videos each afternoon. We're going to try to do um, those more often, so be on the lookout. If you like this video, subscribe down below. Hit that little bell and you'll get notifications. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you real soon.